Pacific Green Party meeting, Cascadia chapter on January 16th at 7.30 and uh, our usual Thursday meetings. And our Marvel speaker, Michael Mayo, is going to make a statement tonight about the U.S. Senate vote uh, sanctioning Iran. I've got my apple pie and coffee here and I'll let Michael go ahead and speak. As we speak, there is a bill in the House of Representatives and in the Senate which demands that the United States increase sanctions against the Islamic State of Iran. When we, as Green Party members, speak to voters of the United States, we tell them that it's not simply a question of voting Green in order to get us, us good guys, into power. Rather, it is a question of a whole change in your worldview in order to affect this shift away from the exploitative, isolation, uh, expropriating attitude of the imperial presidency toward a democratic, open, and uh, sensitive view of humanity as living within a natural world and part of it. Let's look then at why the groups are demanding increased sanctions now. The groups we're talking about are, of course, the supporters of the State of Israel and apparently some supporters of the monarchy of Saudi Arabia. Both of these groups are demanding that the United States go to war with Iran on account of the fact that Iran may possibly develop nuclear weapons. Of course, one of those two states that is demanding that the United States go to war with Iran already has nuclear weapons, the state of Israel. And uh, we ought to uh, question whether or not we should go to war about one state getting nuclear weapons when there's another state in the same region that has nuclear weapons already. In fact, Israel, Israel's nuclear weapons are not discussed by the United States. So you can see the whole thing is without any uh, semblance of consistency or integrity at all. It's just, if we can bomb them, let's go ahead and do it. And I draw your attention to the fact that the only reason that this is a live possibility when the Democrats control the Senate is because so many Democrats are in the pocket of the Israeli lobby that these Democrats will vote against the stated policy of their own president in order to satisfy the wishes of their backers uh, from uh, the uh, American-Israeli Political Action Committee. It's very significant that that's the case. We have a president who has uh, uh, put in place an act of negotiation which will prevent the outbreak of war. It is not simply the United States that's engaged in these negotiations, but all five or six world powers are negotiating with Iran. And the, and the president of Iran, who is making the concessions, is the uh, former official in charge of nuclear negotiations for on, the, on behalf of the Iranian government. So in every sense, this is a, you might say, a, a prime time show. We've got everybody aligned, we've got everybody in agreement. This will uh, easily, easily make war totally unnecessary. We will obtain a, a non-atomic weapon bearing uh, nation of, of Iran uh, with guarantees of an inspection by the United Nations if we simply allow the negotiations to proceed. We already have a preliminary agreement that is scheduled to begin on 
on January 20th, four days from now. And yet, these warmongers manage to sew up now a majority of the senators in the U.S. Senate. Even though, by the way, polls show that a majority of citizens of the United States are in favor of a peaceful resolution of the problem. The president himself has said that passing this, this law to increase sanctions will mean war. He has uh, credibly said that the people who are proposing this are engaged in preparing another war. What does that mean to you? It means money talks. It means blood for oil. It means that the, there's not a whole lot of difference between the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. All of them are up in it to their eyeballs in, in, in uh, arranging continuous, endless warfare uh, force around the world to make it safe for multinational corporations. I don't know how it's going to turn out. What I'm asking you to do is to realize that you do not have safety, you do not have uh, uh, hope for the betterment by voting for one of the two imperialist parties that run the United States. You must, if you intend to be a change agent, you should join the party that really intends change, the Green Party of the United States. Thank you. Okay, Tucker. You can fire up the PA. Huh? You can dial up the PA again. Alright. Thank you. There you go.